So a military coup then has ousted Mohamed Morsi. I saw the head of the Egyptian military giving his little speech on national television. There have been arrests and more fighting on the streets. When I made my video on Monday it did occur to me that something like this might happen but then again lots of different possibilities came to mind. Morsi dismissed his defence minister last year and attempted to curb the influence of the military but the influence of the military, its power over Egyptian society didn't disappear overnight. Of course it didn't. It's been there since the early 1950s. Whatever you may think about Morsi or the Muslim Brotherhood, you can't deny what's just happened. Egypt's democratically elected leader has been removed from power by the military. A civilian president has been ousted by the men in uniform. But that's not the whole story here. Millions of people took to the streets, much like a couple of years ago. They protested, they made their voices heard, and they affected political change. The Egyptian people understand the power of the mass protest movement. Perhaps there are governments in the Arab world, the larger Muslim world, and elsewhere in the world, who have been watching the events of the past couple of days and have been getting more than a bit nervous. I ask the question, is this ousting of the president a victory for people power or is it a defeat for democracy? I'd like to hear your thoughts. The situation could still degenerate. I know we saw people celebrating in the streets just last night but there's been a lot of trouble. It's difficult to keep up with what's going on when events are unfolding so rapidly. Now, I'm aware that there are a fair few Egyptians who hold their military in high regard. But there are a couple of things which need to be taken into consideration here. You have to wonder about what motivates the military leaders in Egypt. Are there hidden agendas here? You have to look deeper than what people say merely in prepared statements. You have to consider the past actions of the military in Egypt. Is the military really the protector of the people's revolution? As some think. Or are the men in uniform interested only in their own power? their own positions in Egyptian society. Just listening to the radio a while back, dozens of people killed in clashes between cops and Morsi supporters. As you may know, the military has put a judge in office as interim president. He was sworn in as head of the Constitutional Court first. Adli Mansour, that's his name. Key figures of the Muslim Brotherhood have been rounded up, according to the BBC. 
Morsi himself is under house arrest. Apparently Egypt is going to have fresh elections now, but when exactly, we don't know. The Egyptian army have said this wasn't a military coup. I say, please. Occupation of the television station by the Republican Guard. Armoured personnel carriers rolling around Cairo. Former president under house arrest. Looks like a coup to me.